Well, uh, here's the Brothers LX30 again. Um, I'm afraid it's now officially dead. Well, officially, it's just plain dead. Um, this morning I was trying to fix it, but I'm afraid the uh, engine has overheated, the motor, the little motor has overheated on the inside. It doesn't make any noise anymore now. I can show you how it, what it does now. This is just the way I turn the radio off. Take the cover off. And I'm very sorry because this is a really nice little machine and I, I will do everything to get it working. I spend a lot of time on this, but uh, since I have it, it actually, never actually worked. I bought my 1909 Underwood and um, this machine came with it. I got two typewriters. The guys, I gave it to me. And um, well, I could have this one. It gave me a few cartridges and everything on this. But it never actually worked, so I understand why it was for free. <sighs> Alright, so let's turn it on. Let's watch this. One, two, three, go. See, it doesn't do anything. You can hear the sound. That's a little motor just dying off inside here under the cartridge. I've done everything I could do, but something is seriously wrong inside here, and I'm actually not gonna put it on before I know what's going on before I kill off the motor. Um, it, is, it does respond to the um, cover open. But when I close it, and I hit shift lock or caps, that's the only thing that gives some life, this happens. Every tick, just... Yeah, I'm gonna turn them up because I'm afraid I'm gonna kill the mo motor even further, it's already worn. So, yeah, I don't know what to do. Anyway, uh, if somebody knows what's going on with this, because I really would like to get this machine back in order. Working order. But uh, so far, I pronounce it dead. I'm sorry for that. Thank you for watching.